Among the things that have a main spot in movies about ancient Egypt, there are wigs. We see them everywhere. And to be honest, to me it looks weird sometimes. It looks like putting African people's hair on Europeans. Let's take a look at these examples. It is true that ancient Egyptians used wigs. But that theory is not 100% accurate. Not all Kemites used wigs, and they didn't wear them every day. Isn't it strange that an entire population would exclusively use wigs and never their own hair? Many people employ this theory to undermine the possibility of the African origin of the people of Kemet. Whenever they encounter a Kemite with Afro-like hair, they dismiss it as a wig, a claim that is unfounded. Jeffrey Tassi, an archaeologist from the University of Edinburgh, said this. The idea that all ancient Egyptian hairstyles were wigs is unsustainable, given the amount of mummified remains found with intricate hairstyles on the natural hair. He added the following. Both false and the person's natural hair were worn in ancient Egypt, neither to the exclusion of the other. The owning of wigs was usually dependent on class and status, however, the wearing of wigs was determined by the context or occasion. So, no. Not all ancient Egyptians wore wigs. Only a minor part of the population could afford them. So, most of the time what we see is hair, not wigs. Now, let's look at these wigs used in movies. We can see this type, this type, and many other weird stuff. Now, my question is, are these representations accurate? Well, it's way more complex than we think. The first types are quite accurate. The others are complete inventions, as you probably guessed it. But something most people forget is that wigs were inspired by real hairstyles. And these hairstyles can be found in Kemet, but also all over Africa. But there is an issue. It's no coincidence that we consider this specific longer and straighter hair wig or hairstyle to be the main style of the Egyptians. Something is being kept from us, and I'm about to reveal it to you. You know, our perception of Kemet is not a coincidence. Kemet was a complex civilization, but Egyptologists only show us a small part of it. And that part is the one that can make it look like a Middle Eastern or European civilization. For example, when thinking about the ancient Egyptians, we usually see the following visuals. And that's exactly what the mainstream wants us to see. We feel like all Egyptians look like this with longer and straighter hair, right? So, this is an Egyptian and this is a black person or a Nubian, right? But that's a lie. This is an Egyptian and so is this. As well as this. And the worst part in this debate is that the last two have even more legitimacy over Kemet than the first one. And that's because they are representative of the population of Upper Kemet, the land of the pharaohs, who had less contact with Asia or Europe. And Kemet, the role of hair and hairstyles in establishing a national identity was done through assimilating traditional Nile Valley hairstyles, such as the short round curly styles with the longer straighter Delta hairstyles. The mainstream decided to select the Delta hairstyles and made it the standard style of all Kemites. The Delta people had regular contacts with foreign groups, which led to some similarities in terms of hairstyles. But why did they do that? Well, the answer is simple. Because the traditional hairstyle of Upper Egypt, the land of the pharaohs, is the classic Afro hairstyle. This is why numerous pharaohs donned Afro wigs, directly influenced by their Afro heritage, a signature hairstyle of black Africans worldwide. These images clearly show that during the early dynasties in Kemet, the vast majority of the people embraced Afro hairstyles, 